The new Kenyatta University Teaching, Referral and Research Hospital is the boldest, most sophisticated health facility initiative ever undertaken in Kiambu County and Kenya. A project that has created a global health center that ensures Kenya and the region has world-class facilities that cut across the entire health arena to serve generations and contribute significantly to the Kenya Big Four agenda, specifically universal health care for all and the global sustainable development goals. The president has made a commitment that this becomes a center for excellence, particularly for oncology in this, in this country. Kenyatta University Teaching, Referral and Research Hospital is a 650-bed capacity hospital with state-of-the-art medical equipment. Kenyatta University Teaching, Referral and Research Hospital is a level 6 hospital. We will be offering specialized care. We will be expecting patients to be referred to us from other levels of care. So we'll expect patients from level 5 hospitals to be referred to us, those who require specialized attention. The hospital is located on a 100-acre piece of land that lies in the northwestern part of Kenyatta University, bordering Kahawa Barracks to the south and the northern Bypass Road to the east. The main entrance to the hospital is on the northern Bypass Road, near Kahawa West. It is easily accessible from main roads and public transport services. The hospital also has a helipad, a landing strip to enhance access. Following the preparatory phase of design and preparation jointly carried out by China Jiangxi Corporation and Kenyatta University, groundbreaking was undertaken in 2011 with the objective of providing a world-class healthcare in Kenya and the region. Kenyatta University Teaching Referral and Research Hospital was the brainchild of Professor Olive Mugenda, who initiated the preparation of the proposal and leading our team from Kenyatta University in making a case for the hospital through the then Minister for Finance, who is now the current president, President Uhuru Kenyatta, the government approved a government-to-government -government loan from China Axim Bank for construction and equipping the hospital. The hospital was constructed and equipped at a cost of 8 billion Kenya shillings. Uh, I'm happy that uh, the vision we had 10 years ago has now been accomplished and now we have patients accessing our services in this hospital. It was the founder's vision to establish a world-class healthcare facility which will reduce to the barest minimum traveling out of Kenya for medical care abroad and at the same time attract medical tourism from other countries in Africa. Our vision is to be a premier national referral hospital renowned for clinical excellence, medical training and research that enhances quality of lives for Kenyans and the regional citizens. Our mission is to enhance quality of lives through provision of quality, patient-centered and evidence-based healthcare, training, innovation and state-of-the-art technology built and benchmarked with international standards to provide world-class healthcare. It is headed by a team of dedicated, experienced and qualified doctors supported by a professional cadre of trained nurses and paramedic staff. KUTRRH houses advanced and sophisticated clinical and surgical facilities, providing comprehensive care to address all aspects of health from prevention to diagnostic and treatment to rehabilitation. Even though we have many specialized areas in this hospital, our flagship project is a cancer or what we are calling oncology center. And this center has 74 beds and already we have you know, started admitting patients. But I must also add that it's going to be a purely referral hospital so our patients are being referred from other hospitals um, because of the specialized nature of the treatment. Deliberately and carefully built in the fabric of KUTRRH is quality.
The KUTRRH Board of Directors is responsible for the management and administration of the hospital. I would like to thank the board members who are behind here, who have been working very hard, uh, hiring the right staff here. As the CS said, we have the doctors, we have the nurses, we have uh, other staff members who will be working with us. The major directorates of the hospital are clinical services, nursing services, corporate services and administration, finance strategy and planning, training, research and innovations. The highly sophisticated medical center shall offer quality medical care with the following units. ICU, HDU, KUTRRH has the highest ICU and HDU bed capacity among the healthcare establishments in Kenya. There are 24 ICU beds and 10 HDU. The beds are fully equipped with world-class bedsides where there is a panels of uh, sockets where we use to ventilate the patients. It has world-class machines for infusion of medications and drugs. They should expect quality health care and we are ready to provide that care. We have qualified nurses and doctors on board and uh, all the nurses here are critical care nurses. Um, cancer, the burden of cancer is rising within our nation and therefore KU is well placed in uh, handling uh, all matters regarding cancer. We'll be dealing with initially uh, diagnosis and treatment of cancer. Uh, treatment will involve having a radiotherapy machine which is uh, the most modern called the linear accelerator and we'll also be giving chemotherapy for patients uh, who have cancer. Every unit is equipped to treat every type of procedure including trauma surgeries. Medicare is further supported by the availability of telemedicine to enable doctors to consult with peers worldwide on real time, thus reducing the need to seek treatment abroad. The ultra-modern laboratories are equally proficient to delivering high standards of services. And we have the best equipment, equipment that you can find in any part of the world like Europe and USA. And that means that you are able to diagnose the most complicated diseases without sending samples outside the country. And it also means that we are able to give uh, the best teaching and practical approach as far as the students are concerned. The hospital strives to extend world-class preventive, curative and holistic care to individuals from every level in the society in a safe, ethical and affordable manner with world-class infrastructure facilities that include outpatients, accident and emergency, pharmacy and diagnostic imaging. The drugs we have are of good quality. We source them from Kenya Medical Supplies Agency, that's uh, KEMSA. Uh, we have all sorts of drugs. Uh, our core focus is uh, drugs for cancer. We have drugs for dialysis, that is when you, you want to clean the system when a patient has renal failure. Uh, we have drugs for accident and emergency. Those are patients who present to the casualty with more or less uh, emergency kind of uh, conditions. We also have drugs for theatres, um, uh, where you know those are used for in, in the event a patient goes under general anesthesia, so that the surgeons can perform what they need to perform, uh, basically the operations. In patient services, pathology and lab medicine, based and specialized critical care, medical and surgical, specialized internal medicine that is oncology, renal and neurology, diagnostic imaging, obstetrics and gynecology services, Kenyatta University Teaching Referral and Research Hospital believes healing begins as soon as you arrive at the hospital. At the core of our new design, the idea of personalizing and humanizing the healthcare experience will be apparent at the hospital. Furthermore, the hospital premises provides a green, relaxed and soothing environment for healing and visits. Given the advanced facilities the hospital presently has, combined with the human resources being assembled to undertake medical care, research and training,
We hope to meet the expectations of Kenyans in the provision of quality health care. Privileged to have met and one of the best doctors, uh, you know, in terms of matters oncology, matters nephrology, trauma management, we have them here. The numerous conference halls, equipped with teleconferencing facilities, will enhance continuous medical education. It is expected that the hospital will provide the necessary environment and incentives for the conduct of biomedical research and clinical trials in order for our medical scientists to contribute to improved medical care and production of new pharmaceuticals. Our hospital has three main pillars. The first one is on services, where we would be expecting patients to be referred to us. The second one is on training, teaching. So in the near future, we'll expect to start undergraduate and postgraduate programs together with other trainings so that we can build on the numbers of trained human resource in health. This will go a long way in us achieving the universal health coverage. Our other mandate is on research and we have already set foundations, very strong foundations, where we'll be able to do a lot of basic research, applied research, and also conduct clinical trials. The support services which complement medical care in the hospital are Doctors Plaza, Staff Quarters, Academic Block, Laundry and Catering Services, Restaurants, Helipad, Banks, among others. If you look at the infrastructure around this hospital, and you look at the keen interest that the government has, if you look at the keen interest that our Cabinet Secretary of Health has in this hospital, and if you look at the need in the market, in the region, and even in the locality for this hospital, it's very, very clear that if we get our act right, this is going to be a hospital that is a game changer in the region. The new Kenyatta Hospital Funeral Home is opened to the public. We are also thinking of acquiring the first integrated molecular uh, imaging center. And this is a center uh, which will help minimize the number of people uh, who seek uh, cancer treatment and, and diagnosis outside the country. Because the center will have uh, the modern machines that are required to do that. So I must thank uh, the government through the Ministry of Health uh, because they are very committed to ensuring that the resources are available to start this center. And it will be um, the first center, public center, in uh, Eastern Central Africa. And it will really go a long way in helping Kenyans access the necessary treatment. Given the advanced facilities the hospital presently has, combined with the human resources being assembled to undertake medical care, research and training, we hope to meet the expectations of Kenyans in the provision of quality health care. I wish to inform you that Kenyatta University Teaching Referral and Research Hospital is now open. 